Millions of people turn to websites like Wikipedia to learn about popular locations, such as the Pantheon in Rome. While Wikipedia is packed with interesting historical facts and site descriptions, it does not provide enough information to visualize complete sites. The Pantheon page, for example, describes 31 objects of interest, but only two have captioned close-ups. Instead, imagine if Wikipedia lets you visualize the contents of the scene and their spatial relationships in 3D. In this paper, we describe a fully automatic system for transforming Wikipedia pages into immersive 3D visualizations. Mousing over any highlighted object in the text shows you where it is in 3D. When we mouse over an object that's not currently visible, the 3D model rotates to show the object. When we click on the text describing the assumption, the tool zooms into the object and shows a close-up photo of the painting. We can continue exploring the objects in the Pantheon by mousing over the object links in the text. Our system takes a regular Wikipedia page as input, computes an annotated 3D model of the scene, and links it with the text, all completely automatically. This problem is quite challenging. The text is full of historical facts, events, and details. How can we determine which subset corresponds to objects in the scene? And for each one, how can we figure out where it is on the reconstructed 3D model? Our key insight is that if an object is important, there is likely a photograph of it somewhere on the internet with text that describes it, in this case, on digital-images.net. We can find such objects using Google Image Search. Because we don't know which objects are important a priori, we exhaustively search all noun phrases on the Wikipedia page. If any of the returned photos match the 3D model, we link the phrase to the corresponding place on the model. Note that the image search can be noisy. We filter false positive matches by training a linear classifier over text and visual features. Our system is inspired by phototourism, which provided similar rendering and annotation capabilities. The key difference is that phototourism required manual tagging whereas we show how to tag a scene completely automatically and integrate the experience with Wikipedia or other text. We can also interact with the 3D scene directly in the right-hand pane. As we move the mouse around in the visualization of the Sistine Chapel at right, detected objects are highlighted. We can process any text. It does not have to be Wikipedia. Here, we show a viewoncities.com, which describes the Trevi Fountain in Rome. Notice that the detected objects are enclosed in automatically generated 3D boxes. Here, we show the Pergamon Museum in Berlin, which displays the remains of the Greek Pergamon altar. We also provide a mode where the visualization automatically updates as you scroll through the text. Whenever an object enters the blue window on the left, the visualization rotates to show the object and zooms into it. The Wikipedia site for the U.S. Capitol Rotunda contains cropped images of each object, such as the different scenes on the frieze and the paintings. We automatically link these photos to the model, so that clicking on them takes you to the corresponding point in the visualization. These links help you to understand the geometric relationships, making it clear that the frieze is described from left to right.